This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shupi. You're watching the 4 p.m. stock market update. And we had a good day because, uh, there's a lot of money to be made in this market today. You have the composite up about 2.95%. Dow Jones Industrial trading up about 3.57%, making all-time highs, massive gap up. Uh, you have that dollar on a huge surge upwards, trading at 105.11. We're going to have some selling pressure uh, into the metals market. You have gold off about 3% nearly, trading down 2.9% at 2,669. You have copper trading off about 5.3% uh, at 4.23 on that contract. You have the Russell surging about 5.76%. Let's see, silver off about 4.5%. Uh, what else we got for you? What else do we have for you? Let's see what these big boys are ending today. Steel Dynamics finishing up the day 13.76%. Love to see it. Tesla finishing up the day 14.74. Oh, man. What is it, Sentinel-1? <laughs> Sentinel-1 up 6 point. Yeah, whatever, man. Everything's green. Let's just do it. Unless you're lucid and Rivian, but that's all right. JPM, yes, yeah, some of these banks really got it. Regional banks got it too, trading up 11.59%. Uh, Google up three. Oh, man. Even Disney. Even Disney's in on the party. Trading up 2.34%, right under that $100 level. That's fantastic. Let's take a look at TM. I mean, hey, even with like a contraction in volume, like sales wise, TM's doing okay right now. Trading at 175.15, uh, off about 0.24%. Uh, yeah, 20% drop in second quarter operating profit, missing estimates, but no one really minds that much. A lot of this is having to do with the transition uh, into EVs. You know, consolidated vehicle sales are still like pretty solid, right? In 2023, you had, what is this, 4.7 million versus 4.5 million this year. Okay, I mean, that is a contraction, right? It's been a tough year and stuff like that. And then you have some of their guys coming out saying uh, this is the... One of the executives, David Christ, he says, it's important to recognize investments can't be undone in four years, referring to their EV market. And he's like, listen, we have these things. Uh, we need to sell them and we're going to sell them. And the path forward that we see, and again, this is one of the largest motor companies in the world. They say that it is going to be uh, EV regardless of who is in charge. And so that's what we have for you today. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien for the morning market kickoff. Uh, followed by Basil Chapman. Steve's recording his show at 8, so look out for that. Larry Pesavento, and then I will be with you, and uh, along with Tim Morton, 3 p.m. tomorrow. See you then.